Here we are at Kilpeck Church, which is an Anglo-Saxon church. And you can see Anglo-Saxon motifs in the carving. Beautiful carving. So this carving is just under a thousand years old. Notice the serpentine form there, a bit like a world serpent. And we've got some sort of warrior maybe and some animals. And then there are there's a wolf's head there. And a tree of life in the tympanum could be a representation of Yggdrasil. And at the top of this pillar is a disgorging green man. He's called a disgorger because he's got vegetation coming out of his mouth. So we've got another serpent figure here, and actually this the floral motif also looks like a representation of Yggdrasil, or as the Saxons would have called it, Irmansol. Complete with some sort of world serpent. And if we look up to the edge of the roof, you can see all these interesting corbels with different types of animals. Apparently I wouldn't be very good at walking and chewing gum at the same time because I was having trouble with it. There's some sort of boar there. And the one I wanted to show you, which is why we're walking along here, is this Sheila Nagig here. Hopefully you can see her holding open her bits. And there's various nice animals on these corbels, including this very cute dog and rabbit on the right there, next to the upside down ball. end of the church there are more corbels and beautiful window with knotwork on the surrounding up there you can see the bell tower we'll try and zoom in a bit on the window see the lovely knotwork on the pillars and then we have more corbels here and amazingly these sort of serpentine forms sticking out on the end when you consider that's actually 900 or so years old, pretty impressive that that's not eroded away. Especially when you look at some of these gravestones made of slabs of sandstone, which have not done very well. Now I don't know if you heard that, but that was just a big clap of thunder, so I think it's going to chuck it down with rain imminently. Here's a very traditional thing to find in a churchyard. Lovely yew tree. With the characteristic red berries. Very poisonous. And you can see the characteristic twisty shape. So yew 
trees were traditionally planted as guardian trees for a churchyard. And as you can see, it's right on the edge of the graveyard. And there's the end of Kilpeck Church. So I actually had the date of the church wrong. Um, it says the Norman church that stands today in Kilpeck was built around 1140 and is recorded as being gifted to the Abbey of Gloucester in 1143. So, but nevertheless, although it's a Norman church, it's still uh, built very much in an Anglo-Saxon style. So here we have a nice Herefordshire landscape, lovely red earth, nice hills in the distance. cow over there and here's the back view of Kilpeck Church so you can see there are more corbels on this side as well 